The first necessary ingredient in creating a memory that lasts longer than this present moment is attention. Your brain is not a video camera recording a constant stream of every sight and sound you're exposed to. You can only remember what you pay attention to. It's the first necessary ingredient in creating a memory, okay? And that is why our things go missing. Not because we're about to be diagnosed with Alzheimer's, folks. It's because we're not paying attention. Let me give you a couple of examples. A few years back, I gave a talk in Cambridge, Massachusetts. I parked my car in a nearby garage. And I was kind of running a bit late, so I hurried off a couple of blocks to give the one-hour talk. Gave my presentation, signed some books, and then I went back to the parking garage, and I could not find my car. I thought I had parked on level three, but maybe it was four or five. I was pressing the button on the car remote, hoping to see the flashing lights or hear the beep beep. I was just about convinced it must have been stolen when I happened upon it exactly where I parked it. I wanted to blame the whole maddening thing on my memory, but the neuroscientist in me knew better. I couldn't find my car, not because I have a terrible memory, amnesia, dementia, or Alzheimer's. I couldn't find my car because I never paid attention to where I parked it in the first place. And because the first necessary ingredient in creating a memory is attention, my brain never formed a memory of where I parked. Now, not remembering where you parked because you didn't pay attention for that split-second moment is normal and different than what happens if you have Alzheimer's. So if I have Alzheimer's and I say I drive to a shopping mall, I park in the garage or someone else drives me if it's later on in my disease. But either way, I park the car, off, I go to shop for an hour, I come back to the garage and I'm not thinking, did I park on level three or level four? I'm thinking, I can't remember how I got here. Or I'm standing right in front of my car and I don't recognize it as mine. Okay, here's another example. I often drive from Boston to Cape Cod. About an hour into this trip, I cross the Sagamore Bridge. This is a really big four-lane, can't-miss-it structure. And then about 10 miles and a mere 10 minutes later, I will often wonder, wait, where am I? Did I already go over the bridge? What happened here? My eyes were open when I drove over the bridge. The visual information made it into my brain. It goes into your visual cortex back here in your occipital lobe. So my brain saw the bridge, and I didn't forget how to drive. I didn't crash the car. I stayed in my lane. And it's not like I'm asking my brain to retrieve a memory from 30 years ago. This happened 10 minutes ago. So why can't I recall the experience of going over the bridge? Well, I can't recall going over that bridge because that memory was never created in the first place. It's not enough for my senses to perceive information. My brain can't and won't consolidate any sensory information into a lasting memory without the neural input of attention. So because I've gone over that bridge countless times, and it's now same old, same old, it wasn't meaningful, emotional, surprising, or new, because I was probably listening to an audiobook or lost in thought, and so my attention was pulled elsewhere, the experience of driving over it slipped out of my brain within seconds, gone without a trace. So when this happens to you, when you're driving down a familiar stretch of road and you suddenly realize you have no memory of the trip so far, don't panic. This does not mean you're getting Alzheimer's. When you bring your attention back online, do you recognize where you are? Yes. If you have Alzheimer's, you can be giving all of your attention to where you are, even in a familiar neighborhood, and you still might not recognize where you are. Okay, so the number one reason for forgetting what someone just said, the name of a person you just met, where you put your phone, your keys, your glasses, your car, and whether you already drove over a really big bridge is lack of attention. Okay? You can't remember what's right in front of you if you don't pay attention to it. So if you want a better memory for what's happening in your life and where you put your stuff, we've got to slow down, get less distracted, be present, and pay attention.